So welcome to a new vlog. Um, I feel that this vlog is going to be special because we are in the Bahamas. So this vlog is going to be special because first of all it's in a brand new location that I've never been Bahamas. How insane is that? And on top of that it is to try this brand new GoPro Hero 10 Creator Edition that is right in my hand right now. And in today's vlog team we have Alana here in front of the boat. Andre, captain of the boat. And also Anita from GoPro. And this vlog is going to be quite special because we're going to first of all explore this place that I have never been before and I really wanted to come. And also because we're going to talk about ocean conservation and shark preservation and lots of cool stuff. But let's maybe start when I actually arrived two days ago in the Bahamas. <laughs> Welcome to the Bahamas! This is so cool. Morning, day two. <laughs> Good to see you. What's up, bro? Perfect oh. timing, 8.59. 8.59, we nailed it. I'm not late this time. Step one, breakfast. <laughs> Step two, croissant and coffee. <laughs> oh, wow, that's oh, a fat croissant. croissant. <laughs> Oh, they said they didn't have any. Oh, here you go. Uh, What's your review on a Bahamian croissant? I like the texture, but it doesn't really feel like a croissant. <laughs> mm -hmm. Step three, head to the boat. Step four, load the boat. <sighs> Step six, hit the gas. <laughs> to the beautiful green case and I'm here to test out this brand new GoPro Creator Edition. Yeah, it's something that I've been wanting to have for such a long time, having an extra battery pack stacked to the GoPro with some extra features directly controlled from my thumb. Having also some extra stuff where you can actually strap the camera and then you can rotate it. And then <laughs> this has also a tripod like this. Set up your time lapses super easily. Boom, there we go. Time lapse done. I'll be uh, testing this thing for the next few days here uh, with this beautiful team. Did we anchor up? Yeah. Can we jump in? Don't throw this. Okay. Oh, yeah. Is he going to yeah. take it? Yeah. 
So now we're gonna do the first island hopping. <laughs> then we're gonna have a nice picnic on the beach and also maybe see if we can grab a coconut or two to have some water. Okay, let's see if I... No, it should be good. Nice. <laughs> oh, that is so nice. Is this your private island? One of them. <laughs> if you want someone to take care of that island, I can be in charge. I want to have lunch right there. I can see fresh coconut. I don't think I could make it up. Look, Benny. What? Where? Look. Oh, wow. <laughs> where, where was this one from? It just fell <laughs> off the tree now. That's a perfect timing. Now, this is actually from his garden. <laughs> He's claiming this is the best coconut in the Bahamas or in the world? These are the best coconuts in the world. Oh, wow. Wait, you try first. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this vlog is all going to be about like this hat flying up. Cheers. I've heard a lot about this coconut. How is it? That is, that is next level. That is amazing. <laughs> like that is so sweet. I'm very picky with the coconut. The has way more flavor. <laughs> How do you make it so sweet like this? <laughs> this can be real. Diving. And I didn't mention it yet, but this is gonna be my first ever scuba experience. I'm like kind of getting nervous right now because I've been in the water quite a lot, but it was always free diving. And now knowing that we're gonna be able to go deep and stay deep feels like a yeah, brand new thing for me. Of course, Anna is a certified instructor, so that's why I feel comfortable going down with you. <laughs> but still, it's gonna be so fun. I'm you're really gonna, excited. You're gonna rock it. And I'm actually glad that we're going down on scuba and not free dive because the wreck is at 40 feet. So that would be quite tiring to go down free diving all the way to 40 feet and like try to stay down there and scuba is gonna be much nicer to explore and hopefully we can see some sharks <laughs> So day three, um, right. just finished packing up. We are about to leave Nexo to head over to Exuma and meet with some super interesting people. The guys from Beneath the Wave, uh, where we're gonna spend a full day with them and doing lots of cool stuff. <laughs> Let's go to the airport. Nice. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. If I step on my toes, I'm actually touching the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to Exuma! <sighs> this is how airport should always be. And then we arrive to Paradise Bay.
This is unreal. Nice, huh? I mean, not too bad. I am speechless. But why are we dressed up like this and we're not in swim shot and just running in? Exactly. This we, are, just... we are moving here. Yeah, yeah. By the way, we're never coming back to Europe. We're gonna come here and move in with you and yeah. stay here forever. And I can help you. I can be your filming assistant. Nice. Yeah. Once you accept currency and coconuts. Yeah, that's all I need. Yeah. I had high expectation for Bahamas, but I think my expectation just got exceeded by so much. Oh, you lost the hat again. <laughs> this is all about and it has had just living its own life okay now we're heading to the mission that i've been looking for such a long time andre knows what we're going to do we're going to meet up with the guys at beneath the wave to get into some shark science we're going to be doing some shark tagging and learning about the different species of sharks here and the work that they do for conservation efforts with the awesome crew and we're gonna have an amazing day today so let's go dive right into it We're putting out what we call beta drum lines, and they're a really good, safe way to catch sharks in the ocean. What's happening right now is the tide is going out, and as the tide goes out, it carries that scent all the way over the drop off there, and that's where we find a lot of reef sharks, tiger sharks, and who knows what else. So we'll leave the line soaking in the water yeah. for about 45 minutes. That means if we catch anything, we know it's not going to have been exhausting itself yeah. for too long. We come back, we pull up all the drum lines, and hopefully, we've got a couple sharks on the line to show you. Sick. Cool. All right. That's so got left hand. Yep. There you go. go. Say splash. 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 Oh, and clear. clear. Nice. Good job, Tim. Yeah. Okay, we have 45 minutes spare. So. We're doing research, oh. okay? We're only testing the water temperature to make sure it's very okay. So it's up to the Oh, that's pretty high. One and. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> what is inside this magic box? So inside this magic box is all the tools that we need to be able to collect all the data that we need from all these animals. If we have a shark, we're going to pull that shark up to the side of the boat. We can then begin our workup. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take three measurements. And so the reason that we take the shark's length is that we can figure out how old it is, whether or not it's sexually mature. If it's a female, whether or not that female is carrying any babies. The next thing is we are going to insert a couple of identification tags into the animal. And that's really important because one of the things that we're trying to address here is, is where do all these animals go? How long do they stay in the Bahamas for? Do they move outside of the Bahamas? These tags will ping for about seven to 10 years of the animal's life. We have listening stations throughout the entire world. So if my tiger shark swims all the way up to coastal New York, they're gonna tell you. We can detect it. How cool <laughs> is that? Cool. I love this little uh, lesson time. The next thing we do now is, and we're actually gonna take a small sample of fin. We can run genetics on this. And what we can do with this information, we can actually figure out what the animal was eating, where it sits wow. in the food web, how it interacts with other animals. The next thing is a blood sample. So we're basically giving these animals a full health profile. The best part about it is it is completely non-lethal, so we, yeah. you know, the, we don't ever really see any negative effects of any of these tags on the animals. So they're going about living their daily lives and, and we're learning all about them. Well, they know. <laughs> Shall we go and get some sharks? Yes, let's right, go. Let's go. I kind of want to go in the water actually. <laughs> oh, nice. Yep, perfect. I already took two. Look up the numbers on There you go. Let's get uh, off. Alright, Shark's gonna swim. There we go. Woohoo! 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 Woohoo!
Yeah. Now this was impressive. Mm -hmm. so when they were so on point, like this only like took a few minutes. And now they're gonna track it for eight years. Yeah. That's crazy. Maybe we're gonna be come back in eight years and see it again and be like, oh, that was yeah. good. <laughs> oh no, that was the last one. Oh, right, I guess we got one. Yeah, we got good job. One. Hey, oh, great job, man. No, that was a great you. time. That was super. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. 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 for watching and see you in the next video. Didn't work. Didn't work? No. Try again? GoPro, please get me a click. GoPro, Pino Colada. <laughs> for the whole boat, please. Piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs>